Raindrops keep falling on my head Just like a guy whose feet are too big for his bed Nothing seems to fit Those raindrops are falling on my head They keep falling So I just did me some talking to the sun And I said I didn't like the way this movie is a personal account of learning to cope with homonymous hemianopsia as seen through my eyes. Hemianopsia is half vision. Homonymous means it's the same in both eyes, thus homonymous hemianopsia. The first scenes are dramatized, the remainder more documentary. Simulated vision and vision impairment scenes are the nearest that my very wide angle lens and my special effects can produce. The scene from my eye is ever changing and the hemianopsia mask is constantly in motion and changing in texture, but it's always opaque. Call the eye doctor. Call the eye doctor. I, I, I know. I know it's a long weekend, um, but but he said he said call if there's anything that happens and and it might be that wet kind of macular degeneration and you need to call right away. Oh, oh, okay, I'll call. But you come on over here. I need help. Okay, Daddy. I'll I'll come over. I'll come over right over. L listen. Leave the door unlocked and, and then go lie down. Okay, right safely. Okay, Daddy. I, I love you. Okay, I love you. I'll be right over. Bye. Something's wrong with my eyes, he said to call if I have an emergency, even on a weekend. Dr. Chu is on call and I'll have him call you at once. Oh, thank you very much. Hello? Yeah, uh, Mr. Beach, hello, Dr. Chu. 
Oh, Dr. Chu. Tell me what's happening with your vision. I got the message. Well, I just walking in with the groceries, and all of a sudden, I couldn't see on the right. Uh, I dropped my groceries and staggered into the house. It's just like a curtain came down. You sure it's like a curtain on the mirrors and smudges? No, no, it wasn't a smudge. It was just, just like a curtain. The beach, uh, from the sounds of it, sounds uh, it's not your eyes or the uh, macular that you have. Uh, you're having a stroke. Oh, my. Oh, my. Call your primary doctor and tell him what's happening and tell him to call me and check yourself in to St. Joseph's and tell him to get you an MRI as soon as possible. Oh, okay. Thank you, doctor. I hope everything turns out fine for you. Thank you. Bye-bye. When we arrived at the ER, it took another 10 or 15 minutes to get to the triage nurse. She promptly took my statistics, vital signs, checked my visual field with her waving hand, and took me to an ER cubicle. I was given a heart monitor, an IV, a chest x-ray, and blood tests, and quizzed by my doctors, neurologists, and nurses and finally a CAT scan confirmed that indeed I had an ischemic stroke. Okay. Oh boy. Good to get out of here. Okay. Careful with the chin. Thank you, nurse. Here I'm being released from the hospital after two and a half days during which I was on a heart monitor, an IV, oxygen, and I had no pain whatsoever. Various doctors, neurologists, and technicians examined, probed, and tested, including two kinds of MRIs. Bottom line, I have no physical, mental, or cognitive impairment from my stroke other than hemianopsia. I can read work my computers, and watch TV, but with some difficulty. I am fully ambulatory, and my hemianopsia curtain has drawn back some from the bottom, and no longer has flashing lights. Hemianopsia is difficult to comprehend. It is a vision problem, not an eye problem. Think of the eye as the front end of your camcorder, the lens, shutter, and CCD. Think of the brain as the electronics inside, and think of the view screen as vision. The front end of the camcorder can be just fine, but if a few chips on the circuit board that controls all the pixels on one side of the view screen burns out, then one side of the view screen will remain blank or black. Likewise, hemianopsia results from a brain problem, not an eye problem. It has now been two months since my stroke. I feel well and I'm rapidly learning to cope. The curtain has drawn back to about half the right field of vision, and it looks quite different. They say it will not get better than that, but what do they know? I can walk without assistance and seldom bump into things as I learn to shift my eyes to the right frequently. I can read almost as fast as before. As long as the lighting is good, the lines are not too long, and the page is not glossy. I can enjoy television when there's anything worth watching, but I focus off-center to avoid the mask. I'm able to work at my computer, including my Casablanca editor, without much difficulty. I'm trying to improve my touch typing and to avoid long lines on the screen. By shifting my focus, I'm able to read the screen pretty well. Raindrops keep falling on my head 
Just like a guy whose feet are too big for his bed Nothing seems to fit Those raindrops are falling on my head They keep falling So I just did me some talking to the sun And I said I didn't like the way he got things done Sleeping on the job 